About 70 kilometers southeast of Rehovot, there is an outpost of the Weizmann Institute. This is the Atir Forest Research Station, one of hundreds of sites around the world for monitoring carbon exchange. Well, we, we know that uh, the concentration of carbon dioxide increase in the atmosphere, and we know that carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas that can cause uh, global warming. Uh, we also know that plants take up uh, 25 to 30 percent of the carbon dioxide we emit every year. So we need to understand uh, uh, if this uh, uptake is going to increase, decrease, or remain the same, and for how long. The purpose of this research is to determine how much CO2 is taken up by a semi-arid pine forest. For, for this, we, we rely on a toll tower and micrometeorological techniques and a range of measurements uh, on leaves, trunks, and in the soil. We chose to do research at the Yatir Forest because we discovered that the scientific community is ignoring uh, forests in the semi-arid uh, and dry regions. And Yatir is really a forest at the edge of forestation in the dry timberline. It is also a fully grown forest uh, with trees uh, 45 years old, and it's the largest forest in Israel, which was suitable for our research. The results in the Yatir forest uh, showed us that uh, a semi-arid forest can take up uh, much larger quantities of carbon than we expected, in fact, uh, close to the global average. And uh, we also found that the uh, forests show a, a range of uh, very interesting adaptation to this uh, environment that allow him to take up such large quantities of carbon. Professor Yakir and his team are now taking this research on the road. The Biosphere Atmosphere Research Mobile Lab, created with the generous support of Robert Lewis and his sister Kathy Wills from the UK, is an entire lab in a semi-trailer that lets them study forests all over the country.